We've had Cleveland, Ohio earthquake swarm a few days ago, 2.5, then 2.1. Today we've had a 2.0. This is the area of the Great Lakes. We've had uh, Lake Superior recent earthquakes. And also today, of course, look at this earthquake map of Canada. This is amazing. Not only the West Coast, but the East Coast. Let's remember we have a mantle plume under the Great Lakes. That mantle plume has been there since 900 million years ago. And this is what the area looked like. The Lake Superior uh, area was once uh, flanking Wyoming. And that's the Great Plains area that is opening up because of the mantle, the magma underneath. This is the map showing that the eastern United States is sloughing off, just like Madagascar came off Africa at one point. And these are uh, a number of earthquakes activities just, uh, well, recently, about last year. But we do have earthquake activity. This is the mantle plume underneath the Great Lakes. Nobody knows where it's coming from because it's been there for over a billion years. So let's keep in mind that this is a horseshoe-shaped thing. The western area goes through Oklahoma, Kansas, all the way down to Texas, and then makes a western turn into uh, towards the coast. And uh, these are some of the recent Lake Superior earthquakes as well. Let's take a look at the map. So here we are. Uh, this is it right here. And if we just pan it a little bit into the coast, coast of Lake Erie, we'll see that we had a 2.5 two days ago, five kilometers depth, about three miles down. Then we had a 2.1, about seven kilometers down. And these were uh, the same day. And this one is today, 7.6 kilometers down, two magnitude. And uh, these are only the past week earthquakes that we see. Okay, we also had one here in Quebec, Canada, 2.0. Sometimes USGS um, downgrades them. 1.4 in Connecticut two days ago. And Charlotte, South Carolina, 2.1 again two days ago. And let's go to the Canadian map. And this is the activity, recent activity. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. And this is what we have here. Let's pan in a little bit to see what they uh, registered them as. Right here. Again, panning in. Okay. So, because a lot of people ask, why is it we don't show, the USGS maps don't show Canada? I don't know, because they show every other country. Um, again. Okay, this is old. Why is that so old? We didn't, they didn't clock in the recent ones. A little bit, sorry about that. It's a little bit slow. That's very old. Why is that so old? Anyway, these are older earthquakes. But you can see that obviously we have activity there because there's a mantle plume. And um, what's this? Okay, these are two, they have it at 2.8. You see there's a big difference from 2.1 to 2.8, 2.8, 2.6. And what about the other one? That was a 3.3. So you can see the difference between USGS and the Canadian geological surveys. Okay. 2.6, 2.8. That's not small. Because we know that uh, the earthquakes in this area, 2.6, 2.8, if you go to this, Nine people re reported feeling this one. It was only a 2.0. Nine people reported feeling it. Northeast Ohio seismic zone, moderately frequent earthquakes, at least since the first one was reported back in 1823. The largest earthquake, 4.8, caused damage in 1986. Northeastern most Ohio, the most recent damaging shock, magnitude 4.5, in 1998. 
at the seismic zone's eastern edge in northwest Pennsylvania. Earthquakes too small to cause damage are felt two or three times per decade. Well, this one was felt. Obviously, it wasn't just a two magnitude. This was reported as a, well, two days ago it was a 2.8. I don't know, but they didn't, they didn't clock two days. Okay, and this was 2.6, so obviously you would feel that. Um, earthquakes in the central and eastern United States, although less frequent than the US, western US, typically felt over a much broader region. East of the Rockies, the earthquake can be felt over an area as much as 10 times larger than similar magnitude earthquakes on the west coast. A magnitude 4 in the eastern United States typically can be felt at many places as far as 60 miles from where it occurred and it frequently causes damage near the source. Magnitude 5.5 eastern earthquakes can be felt 300 miles from where it occurred. Okay, so they don't know where most of these faults are. Uh, there's not, it's not as uh, well studied as the San Andreas in California. But the thing is that you have that mantle plume there. This is the mantle plume that's been there for about a billion years when uh, North America was closer to, to uh, Europe. And obviously, this Great Plains area was basically superior. We're stuck on Wyoming. So this grew because of the fact that the continental United States is stretching from the west, the middle, and the east. And we saw before the east is sloughing off to the southeast um, because that basically is a New Madrid seismic zone, New Madrid Rift Valley should be called, from what geologists tell us. We have the Mississippi River, we have it going this way, we have the Lake Erie, Lake Ontario, uh, the uh, Lake St. Uh, Lawrence River, all rivers as we know are fault lines, so basically it doesn't have that much to split, <laughs> it doesn't have that much to split, <laughs> who knows, but uh, we, I, 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 from what I see, I think that we have a tremendous amount of um, seismic activity, especially since the Tonga volcano, underwater volcano eruption, and the ripples felt all over the world. And we see now today, I'm going to make another video on this, that the um, earthquakes are, the pressure is basically going down towards, from the Tonga Trench towards the Karmadec Trench towards, God forbid, New Zealand, North Island. When was this? Okay, this was uh, five days ago. But uh, New Zealand has a supervolcano, the Tapo volcano, that erupted 26 and a half thousand years ago. So uh, you can see this is, I believe, uh, as, and as a geologist explained to us, earthquakes beget earthquakes, especially big ones, are enough to cause like a pieces of the puzzle to be shaking. So um, all of you there on the East Coast, Please be careful. Look at these earthquakes here. Clocked in a lot less than what Canada clocks them in as. Uh, as we said, 2.8 and 2.6. They didn't post today's earthquake yet. This was 3.3 .3 couple of, uh, at the beginning of the month. So all of you there, please be very careful. Thank you for your support, and please leave your comments. Thank you.